Hello my darlings, I'm Indigo Monroe and I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> Hello, my darlings. Time to start a different game because Honey Pop is driving me up the fucking walls. Specifically, I'm driving myself up the walls because I can't seem to get past a first date. Oh, dear God, that's a little too close to home. So anyway, my love life aside, I'm just playing. I've actually got a pretty healthy relationship going on right now in real life because I could get past the first date with him, thankfully. God, I think maybe it's because there are women and I'm just bad with women. I honestly don't know. Women just don't like to date me. Anyway, that depressing realization away aside, um, we're gonna get started on a different game for now until I can figure out what the fuck to do with Honey Pop. And by that, I mean figure out a strategy for winning those dates. And until then, we're going to play Katawa Shoujo. I actually tried playing this a couple years ago, and then my external hard drive, which the files were only on because I'm a fucking idiot who did not back up the files. That hard drive, or not hard drive, that external decided to wipe itself. I don't know how. Really don't, but that's water under the bridge. We're gonna restart the game and have a little bit of fun. I get to practice my uh, voice acting and make your ears bleed. I apologize in advance. Anyway, let's get started. A light breeze causes the naked branches overhead to rattle like wooden wood chimes. I've already fucked this up. Wooden wind chimes. This is a popular retreat for couples in the summer. The delicious trees provide a beautiful green canopy that... God... I'm gonna hate myself already. The deciduous trees provide a beautiful green canopy far out of sight of teachers and fellow students. But now, late winter, it feels like I'm standing under a pile of kindling. I breathe into my cupped hands and rub them together furiously to prevent them from numbing in this cold. It's actually pretty warm in this apartment. I regret doing that. Just how long am I supposed to? Fuck! Anyway, let me try that again. Peace out. <clears throat> Just how long am I expected to wait here anyway? I'm sure the note said 4 p.m. Ah, uh, yes, the note. Sit between the pages of my math book while I wasn't looking. As far as cliches go, I'm more of a fan of the letter in the locker. But at least this way shows a bit of initiative. And a uh, ballsiness, not gonna lie. As I ponder the meaning of the note, the snowfall gradually thickens. The snowflakes silently fall from the white painted sky are the only sign of time passing in this stagnant world. Their slow descent upon the frozen forest makes it seem like time has slowed to a crawl. The rustling of dry snow underfoot startles me, interrupting the quiet mood. Someone is approaching me from behind. I hope your ass isn't too sore this time. He... he 
you so? You came? Uh, that sounds like you fucked a virgin. You came already? Oh, but I had so much longer to go. Ah, oh, fine. I'll just finish myself off here. You go clean yourself off in the bathroom. <laughs> God, sometimes I'm too mean. Anyway, a hesitating, barely audible question. However, I recognize the owner of that dainty voice instantly. I feel my heart skip a beat. It's a voice I've listened to hundreds of times. Never is more than an eavesdropper to a conversation. You fucking asshole! Keep your ears to yourself! I turn to face this voice. The voice of my dreams. And my heart begins to race! You wanna go? Uh, I got a note telling me to wait here. Is this yours? Spent all afternoon trying to come up with a good line, and that was the result. Well, clearly you had the wrong things on your mind if that's what came to your mind. Pathetic. Ain't that the fucking truth? <coughs> yes. I, I asked a friend to give that, give you that note. I'm so glad you got that. I'm so glad you got it. A shy, joyous smile that makes me so tense. Couldn't move a single muscle, even if I tried. Oh lord, my heart's pounding now, as if it were trying to burst from my chest and claim this girl for itself. Uh, you know, I already know how this part goes. I'm not gonna spoil it. So, uh, here we are. Out in the cold. Wow. Bravo. So majestic. Like a fucking unicorn. Once again, the wind stirs up the branches. The... Why do you put big words in these games? Noise is music to my ears. Iwanako flinches ever so softly against the gust of wind. As it passes, she rights herself, as if supported by some new confidence. Her eyes lock with mine, and she lazily turns her twirls her long dark hair around her finger. Okay, anyone who thinks that's long haired clearly has never been around a woman with her hair down to her ass. I call it medium length hair, and I'm kind of tired of people saying, oh, it's down to the bra strap, it's long hair. That's medium. That's fucking medium. Down to the shoulders is short. Down to the mid back is medium. Down past the ass is long. Can we agree on this? Thank you. All the while, the anxious beating of my heart grows louder. Yeah, that's what it is. My throat is tight. Doubt I could even force a word out if I tried. Uh-huh. You see, I wanted to know if you'd go out with me. I stand there, motionless, save for my pounding heart. I want to say something in reply, but my vocal cords feel like they've been stretched beyond the breaking point. He so? I keep wanting to say he so, and I feel like an idiot. I reach up to try to massage my throat, but it's only sent spikes of blinding pain along my arms. That's not fun. He so? My whole body freezes. Save for my eyes, which shoot open in terror. He saw the beat of my chest suddenly stops, and I go weak at the knees. The world around me, the canopy of bare branches, the dull winter sky. 
long ago, running towards me. All these fade to black. The last things I remember before slipping away are the sounds of Iwanako screaming for help and the incessant clatter of the branches above.